What's going on everyone? It's Bray with Code You Find Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I'm closing a very special, tough chapter in my life. All good things must come to an end. We need to talk about it. But first, let's look at some chains. Here's a few chains that I'm shipping out today. We have the rope side, which is always the biggest side. We have the best rope chain in the world, six millimeter, 22 inch. Perfect right there. Ooh, 18 karat white gold Franco. Who wants a an 18 karat versus 14 karat white gold video comparison? Let me know down below. Diamond cut rose gold studs. We have a two and a half Franco. The two and a half Francos are really popular. Very subtle chains. If you just want something simple and high quality, go with the two and a half Franco chain. Some Miami Cuban links here. The smaller sizes. Figaro. We have 18 karat. Rope chain, beautiful rose gold Franco chain, so underrated. The coloring on these chains is something of perfection. A one and a half white gold, got the baby baby curb chain, and then the diamond cut box bracelet, four millimeter. This is a very nice bracelet. The diamond cuts really make it flash and stand out. That's what you need around your wrist, something that people will notice when you're swiping that debit card. So there are the chains for today. So now that we got the Jokoji promo out of the way, I know a lot of you guys like to see the chains that I'm shipping out. There's always a variety of chains, which is fun, which is special, and that's what I love to do is just work with these chains because I love them all. Um, the real reason of this video is I just wrapped up my coaching tenure. I've been coaching since, well, my brother is going into high school now, and I've been coaching him since he was in second grade. It's a long time, and I've never coached. I was really early 20s, never really coached. Um, to be able to have that responsibility and to you know run the team, call the parents, organize the practices, it, it was a lot for me at the time, but I've grown and it was something that I love to do. I wish I could keep doing it, but the honest reality is um, coaching kind of faded for me because of how busy I am with Jokoju, with this channel, doing what I love to do and the expectations for me um, just kept growing and growing to where I couldn't commit 100% as a coach. I would miss games, practices, um, and then when I did commit 100%, then I would miss shipping days. You know, I'd only work Monday through Thursday half day, and I'd miss that Thursday, Friday shipping, which just got me behind. So you have to make a choice, and the choice was um, just to end it the right way. And it really was, at the end of the season, the flag football season, we lost to our rival team 12-6. to I wasn't there. My dad coached it, and then... Um, I really planned to spend a lot of time redoing everything and we just played them, beat them 40 something to zero. So um, it was a good way to go out. I'll put a picture of our team on the screen. That is the only time you'll ever see me raise a fake gold thing and be proud of is that little uh, $2 trophy that we got. But a lot of work and that is years and years of just working as a team. I just kind of kept the same group of kids. Um, we did basketball, football, two seasons of football, one season of basketball basically every year. Sometimes I'd have two teams. So I have a lot of coaching experience and that was that was good for me and it was mainly good for the kids on my team to you know kind of be there as a mentor, give back to the community. My time right now is running the practices and driving two and a half hours to even get there was a lot. It was a big commitment, it was stressful, but right now I have so much going. I don't think I've ever been so busy in my life with bringing these new pieces and also new chains to the website. We have the lion, Jesus piece, elephant, Buddha, new diamond crosses, the angel pieces. Those are all the groups and I'm doing them all in groups and I'm doing them right. That way I could just kind of get them all there and be done. It's only the first week of June, but I'm trying to get ready for Black Friday and Christmas season. That's how far out I am and I know I'm barely going to make it. I just know how things are. It's never right the first time. You have to just keep going over and going over, but I'm glad just to be able to finish the coaching thing that I did. It was fun. I learned a lot. This is a video that I kind of make honestly for myself so in 10 years I can go back and watch it and kind of relive that memory and the feeling honestly that I have right now is just being grateful and thankful for that opportunity to be a coach, to be a mentor in these kids eyes and to bring a team together and I always just related my personal um, you know my work work ethic and my principles to being a coach no i couldn't go out there and run routes and score touchdowns or you know make three pointers but 
the fact of just working really hard, showing up and giving it your all is a big life lesson. It's something you have to work towards. A lot of you out there starting your business or you're going, you're in school and you know, you might be working a job. You just have to give it a hundred percent and keep growing with that mentality and you will get where you want to get in life. I promise I am living proof of that. Just grind, work hard, don't sleep, do everything uncomfortable and you will grow. You'll just grow to be the person you never thought. Looking back to when I first started coaching, never in a million years could I think that I would be in the position that I'm at now and hopefully when I look back in 10 years at this video and watch this video, I'll say, wow, never in a million years I thought 10 years I would be where I'm at today. So that's the beauty of the journey, that's the beauty of life. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button and we will see you on our next jewelry video.